Friends, this is Dolany TV, and it just ain't funny anymore. I'm sorry, you know what? Yeah, freaking about about the Oilers early on in the season, sure. Fun and games, right? There's always room to come back. Well, I'm sorry, you can't keep, there's a good term for it, but this is a family-friendly show, away games, and that's exactly what the Edmonton Oilers do once again with this Florida Panthers game. It just ain't funny anymore, friends. It's, uh, I, I'm frustrated. I, I could lose my mind. I could, I could do a million and one things tonight, but it's just one of these things that everybody's been pointing and laughing at this situation all season. And I'm sorry, this, this has just gotten to the point where it is sad. We all know what this team can do. Heck, two, three games ago, this team was doing what they could do. But instead... Here we are now, again, on a two-game losing streak. The new coach is, what, two and two. Nothing's changed. Everything is feeling the exact same way it was a few days ago. And now, well, where do you go from here? You keep slipping lower and lower in the standings. You keep losing points bit by bit by bit. And tonight, for the second game in a row, you cough up a 2 nothing lead, lose by two goals on an empty netter, and at what point is this team going to actually show up and respect the fans that spend their time watching them? Because they come to work, they come out of the gates blaze, and they have all year, honestly. The Oilers have had, out of all their games, probably 90% of them have been great starts, right? The first five, ten minutes of every hockey game, this team looks like they're going to do something tonight, and then, boof, goodbye. That effort going right out the door by the end of the second or end of the first. And then all of a sudden, bing, bang, boom, you're losing by multi-goals. Again, you can sit here and say, well, it's a goaltending problem. It's a defense problem. It's an offense problem. No, 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 no. At this point, friends, the only thing that is wrong is top to bottom organizationally. This is a mentality problem, right? We all saw the cup or bust mentality and right, they knew they were good. And well, as soon as you think you're good, you start cutting corners usually. And that's exactly what it seems like the Oilers are doing. Just not doing enough to win. And it was put blankly by Bob Stoffer and Cam Moon and uh, Rob Brown tonight. Where Florida was going to do everything they could to get you in the box. Throw you off your game. Worked right away in that first period. Evander Kane ends up benched. Florida ties the game 2-2 in the first period. And somehow, some way, we end up losing 5-3 because even after recovering and making a hockey game of it down the stretch, our best still isn't good enough to win hockey games because the Oilers refuse to go the extra mile that it takes to win hockey games. They don't have the goaltending that will bail you out of a five goals against game. They don't have the defense that can prevent five goals against on a consistent basis, and they don't have the forwards that can outscore giving up five goals against per game. This is where we're at, is it again, right? Until everybody commits to playing a winning hockey game, you ain't going to win a lot of hockey games. Oh, Tyson, you were all high and mighty after winning three in a row. Yeah, because they actually played a way to win. However, you can't sit here and say over the past two games, and especially when the collapses have happened, the Oilers have given you any reason to believe that they are that team that won three hockey games. This is where the frustration is. It's not funny anymore. The yo-yo of this hockey season is just not funny anymore. And it's very frustrating. It's sad to see that a team that knew they were good comes out and is so lackadaisical with their effort, their discipline, their defense, their goaltending, their goal scoring, anything that you need to win a hockey game, they just don't care enough to push over the top. And I mean, yeah, okay, the Oilers scored three goals. Good, 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 but they gave up five. Oh, the Oilers also, whoa, I mean, they had their AHL starter in net. So yeah, you were going to give up goals. So this night, what do you blame? The defense and the offense? Do you blame Evan Bouchard? Heck, you don't know. No, actually, hold on, friends. I've got this one. It's Stuart Skinner's fault. He shouldn't have gotten burnt out, right? Stuart Skinner plays all those games and gets burnt out. You're a professional athlete. Come on, bud. Get it going. I know I'm going to hear that from somebody at some point tonight. Again, this is, this is where we're at, friends, is it's just point the finger different places every night because the Oilers just cannot 
find a way to put together a full 60 minutes. It's again, like I said, a mentality problem. They have a mentality issue somewhere along the way where it's like, if we show up for the first 10 minutes of the hockey game, the rest takes care of itself. Well, guess what? Hockey games don't usually get easier as they go along. So for the Oilers tonight, again, a good first 10, 15 minutes, and then... Done! After 60 minutes of play. So it's just... For the third game in a row, you end up trailing in the final minute and a half with the empty net trying to tie it. Two out of three times, you've lost. Majority of the time, you're going to lose. This is not a recipe for winning hockey. I don't care if you have a good first 15 minutes every night of the season. If it ends up in a loss, it means nothing. There's nothing to hang your hat on and say, hey, hey, you know what? End of the day, guys. End of the day. We did a good job. Yeah, 100%. We did a good job in that first 15. We might have lost 5-3, but we did a good job in that first 15. We'll build off it. Well, sorry, if we were going to build off it, we would have already done that at some point this season, and these Oilers still have not. So I'm getting tired of watching the same tired charades every single hockey game and the result being the same. It's not funny anymore. It's very sad to watch, and I'm very embarrassed to have to continue to talk about the same BS every single day in, day out, day in, day out this season. And thank goodness you friends are right there with me, sitting here enjoying these post games for some reason. Because at the end of the day, there's not much point in doing them, because not much seems like it's likely to change this year. Friends, I'm Tyson. This is all on TV. Again, is there anything good to talk about? I don't really think there is. I am up on... Out of here.